Thanks, Mike. Well, the days are beginning to get shorter, and abbreviated days may have an impact on your sleep schedule. MTN's Carson Vicroy has our story. From now until December 22nd, we will be losing up to 3 minutes and 11 seconds of daylight each day, which is something our bodies may struggle adapting to. Uh, as the days become darker and gloomier, uh, our melatonin su uh, becomes suppressed and it's dif more difficult for our body to regulate the circadian rhythm that we all have. Consequently, we may be a little bit more drowsy during the day, we may find it a little bit harder to go to sleep even though we're fatigued and tired at night, um, and in general, we just may not feel as rested. When our body wants to go to sleep, that is broken up into two different cycles. The homeostatic rhythm it says that the longer we're up, the easier it is to go to sleep. And the circadian rhythm says that over about a 24.2 hour period, we'll have periods where we're more alert and less alert uh, throughout the day. And those two processes work together to help us uh, go to sleep at night and stay up during the daytime. It's better to consider what time you'll be waking up in the morning rather than when you'll be going to bed. And because wake up time really governs what time you go to bed. Uh, so if my wake up time, for, uh, for example, is 7 a.m., I should try and get up at 7 a.m. every day, regardless of time of year. Catching some Z's in Bozeman, Carson Vicroy, MTN News. And to make the most of your sleep, Dr. Osmanski also recommends getting exercise and limiting caffeine and alcohol intake and limiting electronic readers and tablets like smartphones when it's time for bed. Good advice. Yes, <laughs> earlier this month,